welcome back to another episode of uh, AFAF Tech. I'm Aaron, and uh, I like folding at home. So recently, with the thing going on right now in the world, with the uh, people getting sick and all that, folding at home has picked up its game and said, hey, you can help us. So that's what I'm talking about, is uh, installing folding at home and using your PC's unused power to find the... Uh, Thing that shall not be said because I'll lose my monetization, which I don't have. Whatever, I don't care. Coronavirus. Ah, ah, he said it. He said it. So I have two PCs here, right? Um, got the uh, big green one that I built in my last video, uh, which was a while back. Uh, it's got an i7 3770K and a uh, AMD R9 270X in it. Pretty old GPU, pretty old CPU, but it'll still work. Pretty much any modern CPU you can find, actually even in laptops, will actually fold pretty good. Uh, the, the processing power and even low-end CPUs right now is actually really good. Like for instance, this one has the uh, i7-8700K in it, right? The i3 version, the highest end i3 version, basically is an i7-3770K, even though it's only four cores, I believe. So that's pretty good amount of power in CPUs has raised in, in the last few years is, is quite astonishing, especially when you look at something like the Threadripper, the 3990X. I digress. GPUs and CPUs. Like I'm saying, is that it, even a low-end CPU in the current state of tech will actually work really well. Um, one thing that's happened right now since they, since Fully Home put out the word to you know PC Master Race and, and Linus Tech Tips and Barnacles and uh, Jay's Two Cents and well, Gamers Nexus and in any of the channels, the tech channels, they're sending out the word to help. And uh, PC Master Race, for one, this is quite astonishing. They are the largest folding at home team now. They have over like 11,000 people helping them. The thing with this is, which I've never seen before, there are so many people folding right now that we're out of actual work units. Both of my PCs are have been sitting idle off and on whether it's the cpu side or the gpu side right now it's just sitting idle so i figured hey i'll make a video about what's going on for instance my my team i've been doing this for over 10 years and uh, i've upgraded all my gear off and on mainly for foley and home ever since i originally discovered it back in like 2008. all the people joining the uh, pc master race on uh, foley home is awesome and we're eating up all the units you can't use toilet paper, and you can't use dust masks. Um, you know, yeah, you can wash your hands, you can isolate yourself from people, all that kind of stuff. But the most important thing is finding the vaccine, the anti, the the antivirus. That's that's what you need. Not all this other stupid shit. The insanity of buying all the toilet paper. I I've never seen something something so utterly stupid and moronic. A PC that you would use for this, any gamer, anybody even playing Fortnite, probably has a PC that can fold. All you do, you download Foley at Home, and you essentially just let it go. One thing to watch out for though is your temps, because Foley at Home will run your PC much, much harder than any game that you can play. Um, these games push your PC pretty hard, right? Uh, Witcher 3 will max out my GPU and then my CPU will kind of sit, you know, and then I'll go into a city and then it'll, you know, go up. Liquid cooling is, is, is highly recommended depending on if you have a higher end CPU, anything like a Threadripper, uh, i9s, um, even the i7s, the i7 3770K gets pretty goddamn hot. So right now this one is hooked up to a, a 240 all-in-one uh, radiator. It's not even overclocked right now, but it'll, it'll get pretty hot. You definitely need some airflow, as you can probably hear from this PC. Uh, and that one with all the Noctua fans, and it is air-cooled, NHD 15, whatever it's called. That keeps the 8700K pretty cool at, like, I think I got it set at 4.8 gigahertz, 4.77, something like that. Uh, it keeps it pretty cool. I only have it running four cores on that one with the, because uh, I, I still have to feed the, the RTX 2080. So that's another thing to keep in mind, is if you're using NVIDIA, if you're going NVIDIA, it will eat one core per GPU. So, simple math, two GPUs, two cores. Three GPUs, four GPUs, four cores. It's pretty simple. They just didn't update their OpenCL, and when they finally did, 
it, it works, but it's, it doesn't work as good as the uh, AMD implementation of it. Oh. It is also not recommended to run a passively cooled GPU um, or CPU, unless you have one of those big uh, PCs that has the coolant and the whole case is one giant uh, heatsink. So, also this particular GPU, the, uh, the HD5450, probably not going to complete too many work units with this. So, that's another thing. If you're going to fold on a GPU, you're going to want something a little more powerful, a little bit more um, aligned with gaming in mind. The low-end ones like this, yeah, you can use this for you know, a couple screens or something, but you're not really going to be gaming on it. In the newer lines of GPUs, so if you're looking at something like, if you're looking in, in the, you know, on the AMD side, um, I'm not too, I don't, I haven't kept up too much with AMD, but generally all of them will work pretty good. Uh, you're wanting to find a, um, you want to find a good balance between power usage and performance. That's, it's just like with uh, uh, crypto mining, you want an efficient card. You don't want something that's using 300 watts from the wall. Like, for instance, the 2080. It'll pull about uh, uh, 260 watts. Right? It, it, I don't know what its TDP is, but it'll pull a lot of uh, power. So, for instance, that PC has a 1,000 watt power supply in it. Uh, this one, I think, has a 500, but it's not running anything powerful. So that's something to keep in mind is, I mean, price to performance is one thing, but the actual amount of power it's using. The one in here, I think it only uses about 140 watts, the, uh, the R9 270, uh, 270X. Something like an R9 290, um, that'll use 300 easily, and it'll be really hot. It'll hit 100 degrees C, especially with the blower on there. I mean, so not as efficient, and that's only going to get you about uh, 400,000 points per day. So that's another side of it. Having an amount of points per day, the amount of power you're using, I mean, that's kind of the point. Something like a 1080, a GTX 1080, like in, in the other computer out there, I folded with that one up for a long time, and it got about 800,000 points per day at about 180 watts. RTX 2080 will pull, sometimes it'll get up to about 2 million points per day at like 250 watts or something. So it does use a lot more watts, but it's uh, the amount of actual work it will produce is, is considerably higher. Something like a 2080 Ti is going to pull a lot of points. It's going to use a lot of power though, so you got to watch for that. Make sure it stays cool. I set the fans on this one to 70-75% depending on how hot it is. I'll leave this window open uh, a lot of the time, not every day, but I have a fan that pulls air in or blows air out because when both of these are going at once, it's like I have a heater on in here. So it's, that's another thing to consider. Even if your PC's water-cooled, the whole thing's water-cooled, that heat is still being expelled into the room. It may be keeping your components cooler, but you got to keep the air flowing through the room that it's in. So if you have something in like a, a server, like in a closet or something, you're really going to need airflow for that, like a lot. So a flowing home, just if your computer's on and you're not using it, install the program. Just let it run. We are, like I said, experiencing a shortage of work units. So for instance, my overall rank is 238. It was 237 there, but since there's so many people, the uh, places are you know, jockeying around. I'm at 962 million. Yeah, so I'm almost to a billion. That's my goal. Once I do get to a billion, I am gonna kind of take a break for a bit, especially with the other stuff that's going on in, in my life and stuff, you know. Um, like going to, to uh, LTX in uh, August. Let's hope that doesn't get canceled because it was so cool that, you know, got to do it again. So as you can see, we got a person set up as uh, COVID-19 at Reddit. So they specifically named their team, you know, for this. So we got a lot of people helping right now, which is really cool. I've never seen Folding Home run out of work units, like we're running out of toilet paper, right? Except for this is a good thing, uh, especially, you know, since there's other ways to wipe your butt. You can just not poop either. That's one thing. Stop eating so much, you won't poop. Please download Folding at Home. Uh, I really wish they had the Chrome browser version still working because that one worked really well. You just open up Chrome, you had your app, and it would just run your CPU. It's fine. There's other videos. I did my first video about Fully at Home, probably here, I guess. Uh, shows you how to install it and all that. Really easy. Go to their site. You just basically click start foldingathome.org. Nice and simple. All you do is click Folding Now. Once you click that, just follow the prompts, it'll, it'll download, 
it'll install whatever CPUs and GPUs you already have installed, it's going to make a slot for it. And it's going to start folding like as soon as it has a unit to, to actually work on. You can actually split them up with your CPU. You can make one unit per core. So for instance, this PC has 12 cores, six and hyper-threading. Um, I can do uh, 12 individual units. It's going to take a lot longer because it's 64 bit and all that stuff. So you want it you know, at the most one unit with the, the most amount of cores minus one or two depending on how many GPUs you have. Uh, GPUs are going to fold faster. Um, they're going to give you more points. In some cases it's not going to make as much heat but in other cases it will. Um, especially small cases. Ha! Yes, yeah, so with all the panic going on as long as people are folding that's what matters so like always you know hit that like hit the bell you know subscribe and all that stuff if you would like to that was this video now i have to edit it and stop buying toilet paper because that's insane And now, a quick word from my sponsor, Pure Anger. One thing that irritates me that's going on right now is obviously everybody buying all the toilet paper, right? Um, toilet paper cannot fight a virus. Understand? Uh, hand sanitizer will not stop the virus. It'll keep your hands clean. Stop buying all the goddamn hand sanitizer, please. My reason being... Um, my sister is autistic, which brings with it a whole load of things like OCD, right? Uh, tissue and toilet paper and hand sanitizer, all right? Um, th they're things that, that she uses on a daily basis as a normal fucking human being, right? And by buying all this toilet paper, like a bunch of moronic hoarders, it's one of the most psychotic things I've seen in a long time right? It's a virus. Why would you go buy toilet paper? What, what's wrong with you? Stop doing that. And I'm not a religious person, but you know what? There's a special place in hell for you, along with the child molesters. You know, having a pineapple shoved up your ass, top first. And another thing, these masks, they don't work against viruses. They're for dust. They're for small particles. They don't stop viruses. A medical mask, on the other hand, has absorbance in it. So when you breathe out, you're not breathing the virus out. Okay? It doesn't stop anything from coming in. You, you breathe everything in with those. It's your breath. It's pausing your breath from contaminating everybody else. That's all they do. So stop buying these. Do not use these. They don't work. And um, you can suffocate yourself with them. So good luck with that.